Hey guys, today I'm going to talk a little bit about web accessibility. When I first log on to a website for the very first time and it's really easy to navigate and I'm able to understand the website layout right off the bat or soon after um, and I'm able to find all the links and different things if there's articles or just different info when it when it clicks and I can just get it um, and and just have a good experience all around because it's accessible I want to go back to it or tell other people about it and it makes me just feel just super grateful and joyful and that kind of thing as opposed to going to a website that doesn't have much for accessibility maybe uh, the designer didn't really put anything in there for screen readers or anything and it's either just super confusing in general for for everyone even people without visual disabilities or any um, other accommodations or needs um, when it can just be the structure of it can be uh, confusing or the fact that there is no accessibility um, and it's uh, not a good experience and and it it frust it's frustrating and then I don't want to go back and I'm like oh that was that was bad and and I, and I want to let like people know like that whoever created it I guess to find out so I can say hey can you think um maybe you could add something in or I don't know figure it out but and if not then I just probably won't go back to the site or something but um it's it's definitely a refreshing thing when a site is accessible so at least 7.6 million people in the United States over the age of 16 have a visual disability. Website accessibility is about designing websites that take into account our differences. A website is truly accessible when everybody, regardless of their hardware software, language, location, or ability can perceive, understand, navigate, and interact with the web. Web accessibility benefits anyone with a visual disability. Those with dyslexia who may use a screen reader sometimes to listen to web content. Those with learning difficulties that may rely on a screen reader to help them understand a website's content, people with limited computer skills, those that may not know that much about computers and websites, and the elderly whose abilities change over time. When sites and apps are accessible, we feel not left out. We feel valued and included. Making your website accessible will give you a broad range of users and your site will be set apart from those that are not accessible. People that find sites inaccessible will leave and find something else that is accessible. One way to make your site accessible is to add tags with alt text to images. It's alternative text tags, little words that pop up when your mouse hovers over them and over an image, sorry. This field can be used to communicate the message of an image to those that would otherwise miss it. Make your image alt text tags as accurate as possible of descriptions. Screen, reader, screen readers can convey the messages to the user so they understand. Another way to make your site accessible is to make it keyboard friendly. One should be able to navigate it without a mouse. 
For some, it might be difficult to move a mouse. They who use screen readers should be able to navigate with the arrow keys and tab, which are the most common forms of navigation. According to clickaway.com, 71% of visitors leave a site that is not accessible. Label all the links throughout your entire site. Use heading structure, heading level one, heading level two, and so on. And label each heading for easy navigation. Be sure to label all your buttons also, so we know each one we land on. Otherwise, our screen reader just says button, button, and then we don't know what the buttons do. Lists and groups of links are fine as long as everything's labeled for screen readers. Make your list boxes, combo boxes, edit fields, and drop down lists screen reader friendly. Simple website structure can go a long way for a website being able to be accessed by a screen reader. It can be the difference from someone being able to use a site independently or needing assistance from someone else. And I don't know about you, but I would rather be able to navigate as much of the internet by myself, whether it's a website or app by myself, than having to ask people for help. Um, as far as apps go too, um, making sure that all the buttons are labeled and everything too. Um, and you can audit your website by, um, there's companies out there that have accessibility departments where when you audit your site, whether it's already an existing site or one that you're, you're thinking about making, uh, they can help you with the accessibility part and make sure that everything is labeled and, and designed correctly for those that use screen readers and uh, other forms of accessibility. Um, and it's, it's just a good thing to do. You know, it's not just about uh, like standards and, and that kind of thing, but you know, it's, it's doing a really good thing when you make your site accessible so that everyone can use it. Not just people that don't rely on screen readers and other things to help them navigate if they have difficulties um, or disabilities. So that's all I have. And thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Stop recording video.